now i want to take you through how to remove a damaged product first of all to remove damaged product you need to first of all go to your account go to chat of account then you come down you need to choose account where you are going to post your damaged goods you can choose to post it under expenses or you choose to post it under the cost of goods sold depending on the one you choose to use now if you use cost of under the cost of goods sold it means that the system is going to minus it before telling you your real profit meaning the system will recognize your sales as income let's say the total sales you made in a month the system will give you a total sales you made in a month then it will show you the real actual cost of the direct sales then at the same time it will automatically minus the one that damaged the cost of everything damaged before it cannot give you your gross profit but if you choose to have it under expenses meaning the system is going to show you your profit the sales the minus it, the cost of goods sold and get your gross profit before it now come under your expenses so you need to choose where you will want to create high damage items or expired items so if you want expired item to appear here then you can as well modify or you create a code that will fall between this code so it can as well come here under expenses modify and call it damage product so if this one i can call it damage items here you call damage item then you save then if you want to create under here you can decide to use this or use any of them or modify or create a new one under here this is the code that is here so i can decide that i want to create a new one put the same code then change it to 21 or 22 whichever number you want to use then i can call this one damage products then after you have put the damage item you select the cost of goods sold then put it here then by the time you save it the name will be in the system so now here once all these things are created under the chart of account then you can now come over to this place You can now come over to store quantity adjustment. Then you can write your damage item here. Then select that particular code. Now I have this. Remember, I did not modify anything. Let me start using this one, which is supposed to be a damage item if I have created it. Then you now come here. Then you can now come here, begin to post the product name. This product will have 102 and 5 is damage. I can say minus 5. Another product. This product will have 7 and 2 is damage. I can say minus 2. So by the time you are done posting everything that is damaged under the particular account you created here, either expired product or damaged product depending where you have chosen to create it then you can save then you can save once you save the item will be minus let me see what happened here it's like i didn't save it okay this one was so saved now let's look at the product again so that you can see what happened here You can see the product it was seven before look at under the history then you have adjusted you have removed two so it will appear under the adjuster and when you go to that particular account it will also reflect in account thank you